What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Visu, and welcome to our Pour La Cortura special, all right? For this episode, we have a lot of fun things lined up, and we have two guests who are very familiar with the show, so I promise you, immaculate vibes are incoming, all right? But without further ado, let's go ahead and meet one of our guests, okay? She is not only a gamer, okay? She is the creator of Noms with Nico. She's a homie, friend of the show. Let's bring it out real quick, Nico! The door is stuck, I think. Oh, she's having trouble opening oh, oh, the there door. You go. Hello. Hello. We dapping it up. We dapping it up. We bringing it in. Boom. Boom. She's oh ready. wait, you, you actually. We didn't even rehearse that. We didn't that. rehearse that. We did not. Have a seat, my friend. Let's go. Well, first of all, thank you so much for making the time yes. to come back to the show. Always appreciate that. How have Isn't you been? What's new? Um, I mean, it's you know, it's it's the first day of October, it so is. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, I I I haven't been doing much, I don't think, okay, aside from gaming. Fair. Aside from gaming. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of League this this summer. I actually didn't leave the house as much as really? I would have liked. I don't think. So you didn't go to like TwitchCon or anything? No, I just well, I just popped in, but I didn't actually like go gotcha. to the con. Also, I have like the worst immune system, so like it's probably best that I didn't go. That's a very fair point. The con flu is just so. It's real, dude. It's a lot of real. people are feeling crazy. <laughs> no, I feel that. We well, did mention it is the first day of October, which is dope. Are you willing to leak what Halloween outfit you have planned? Oh, it's like, it's like copyright. Am I allowed to say it? Oh. Okay, okay. We can, we can, see, you can say whatever you want on this Okay, show. so my outfit, first of all, I'm gonna be in Japan for Halloween. Really? Yes. That's crazy. And, yeah, then, and then it's gonna be um, a Gur outfit, like Invader Zim, like oh, Gur. Oh, dad, that's a throwback. Yeah, what? very raw XD. What do you know about Invader Zim? Aren't you like 21? Or what is yeah, no, Invader Zim, is is that like, am I too old for Invader Zim? I think I was in middle school when that show came out. I'm 36. Oh, no, I feel like, I don't know. I really liked Invader Zim. I feel like it came out like really late at night. Okay, yeah. maybe you got the reruns. Yeah, I, I got know. the. I definitely got the reruns, 100%. That would make sense. Okay, well, somebody told me, and I think it's pretty obvious, you are part Hispanic. Mexican, if I'm not mistaken, yes. correct? Yes, yes. Okay, well, during this month, I gotta ask you, man, what does it mean to represent your culture, you know, for everybody who watches you on stream, just in general, what does that mean to you? Um, I think it's really important to me because, you know, I think the Hispanic demographic, well, not only just Hispanic, but like, you know, people like myself, like mm -hmm. parents immigrated here from an another country, yep. like Latin America, and that comes with a lot of adversities and a lot of resilience. And um, I think it's really amazing to showcase that in the gaming space. So it's really important to represent because we're still like such a growing demographic. Facts. And um, and yeah, it's always really important to represent uh, and let other people know like, hey, let's support each other. I'm here, you could do it too, you know? So it's kind of like, being, oh, I try, I guess, like maybe to be a role model for anyone that's also aspiring to be a content creator um, and also like comes from a similar background as me. Man, let me say this, as a black man, I can relate to that. Respect to you, girl, <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, I know you like to cook a lot as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I could throw down a little bit too, probably not to your level, but what is the favorite dish we can catch you chefing up sometimes? Oh my God, don't sell yourself short. Um, I, I feel like I, I learned how to cook because, you know, like my parents, they were always working. But I think the, my favorite dish, because it's so easy and so easy to make and it's very quick, it's called um, fideo, which okay. is just pretty much like a Mexican version of like tomato soup mm. almost. And then you can make little talk, little little taquitos on the side with oh. sour cream and cheese and lettuce on top. So, um, so yeah, I think that's the easiest thing to do and also my favorite. I think next season we have to get a kitchen in here and just bring you back yes. specifically for that. I would like to like cook Somebody it like and then down. have you taste test it. Somebody write that down, it's a great idea. <laughs> write it down, write it down. I love that. Well, we actually did some uh, some taste testing on some really good food when we were down in Miami earlier this summer, okay? We had a really good time. It's kind of like the hotbed of not just like action, but good tasting food and it was a really big treat to go down there. So check out this edition of TNG On The Road. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another edition of TNG On The Road. As always, I am EE, and I'm extremely happy to be joined by some esports royalty here in the beautiful city of Miami. Now this man is the pop-off king, okay? He'll see you on or off the stage. He's resting, but he never sleep, 
and he's the 2016 EVO Champion Smash Legend Hungry Box. You don't really need an introduction, but I had to come correct on you, my guy. How you doing? You gave me a great one, all things considered. Right. Much like Hot Ones or Hot Wands, yes. which you're very familiar with, we're gonna put you in the hot seat and see if you can handle the heat here at, uh, what is this, House of Wings? Yeah. Miami, Florida. Yeah, yeah, this seems to be a local favorite here, man. You know, it's usually me interviewing someone else with the wings, too. True. But it, the funny part is I have to eat those wings every time I do it, too, so I have to practice. All right, we'll go wing for wing. Let's wing. bring out the wings and get this thing started. For those who might not be familiar with you, uh, the tag Hungry Box. what's the origins behind it and why did you never change it? Yeah, when I was five years old, I needed to get therapy because I love the taste of cardboard. I kept eating cardboard over. You believe it for a second. I, why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Hungry Box is a doodle I drew on all my folders when I was like in fifth grade, mm. middle school, and it was a doodle based on my mom's signature. Because in fifth grade, she wasn't home, and I had to sign a permission slip to go to a field trip. <laughs> so I committed forgery when I was right. 10 years old by not knowing it. Her name is Lucia, so it's like a big L, then a big A around it. It's like a Pac-Man kind of. Right. But I just kept doing it. It turned into a circle, then a box, and I added eyes. Oh, wow. And then my, all my folders were done with it. My buddy's were like, what, what the hell are you drawing? I'm like, it's a... Hungry box. And then I entered my first tournament in Gigabits at UCF. Yeah. I got like 13th. One day I entered as Hungry Box and I made it out of the hardest pool in the tournament. Oh, damn. Top two out of nine in a pool. And then everyone's like, who the hell is Hungry Box? It just got attached to you from there. And I got attached. That's actually kind of godlike, my man. Cheers. Well, let's try this wing. Mm. Wing one down. Very good, by the way. It's very, very good. good. Start, cut, or bench. We're going to go with Wizzy, Rick Wizrope, Zane, or Mango. Pop -offs. Wow. This one might sound interesting, but I would cut Zane. Okay, Zane's for off. Sure. Off the table. Man, Wizzy's had pop offs where he just roars into the crowd, where this he faints. So yeah. Mango's got some very iconic ones too. But I think Wizzy's, when he does it, I don't know what it is. Yeah. The world stops when he pops off. Of course. It's insane. So I would actually start Wizzy. I like that. I'd bench Mango for sure and cut Zane on that. Well, you ain't got to fight no more, Box. You can, you can eat good. There you go. There's a good one. Ooh. Okay. If you're struggling on that, Phil, you're you're fucked. you're so fucked. The more we look up, the more aggressive these wings look. Like these chickens look like they were angry when they died. Like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's an angry chicken. That's how you know we're boys, because I'm taking this with you. We were getting into it, I'll say that. We focus a lot on NFL here though, obviously, makes sense, right? But you've had your run with a, a former NFL talent yourself, Le'Veon Bell. Oh yeah. Now, how did you end up like connecting in content with him? Because I think I remember those tweets, but how did it all come to come to pass? I think when COVID hit, the NFL season got canceled and all the sports that got canceled yep. and Smash tournaments got canceled. All we could do was be at our houses and game from there, right? That was it. But this guy, Le'Veon Bell, he liked playing Smash. Yeah. I think he played Mega Man. And he was, uh, I don't know, he was doing some friendly trash talk with some of the pros on Twitter. And I picked up on it. I'm like, yo, let my people talk to your people. Team Liquid will make some history. Ooh. And we did. You did, yes. We ended up making the world's biggest ever. This is in the Guinness Book of World Records. Biggest ever open bracket video game tournament. 8,000 plus entrants. Of course, that started the box series, which led to the juice box, lunch box, and even now the coin box. Yes. Which is like my baby. Mmm, it's smoky. Good flavor. This place don't miss on the flavor. Oh my lord. <clears throat> yeah, that was it. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna creep up on you. Damn. We gotta get this last question in because it's one uh, that I am super invested in. The competitive Smash community is obviously like, it's just legendary, right? And it's spanning multiple decades, but things aren't always as sweet as we'd like them to be. You know, you got some people that put them in a box of uh, a hero. Some people, they put them in a box as a villain. Where does Box put himself though? Where do you fall in line? You know, they, they wanted me to be a villain for the longest time. I, I never saw myself as one. And then the one time I embraced the role at Collision, and had fun with it yeah. and camped everyone, I almost won the damn thing. <laughs> Look, man, I took that Harry Potter house test and I, every time I do it, I get Slytherin. Slytherin, right? baby. And maybe I am the kind of person that does whatever it takes to win. Yeah. Is that villainous? Sure, I'm the villain, but one day I'm gonna be the main character. At worst, anti-hero. Sure. At worst. Call you know what, what it mean? is. What, yeah. Like Vegeta? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're both in that same camp. Why is it so much larger than me? Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's a dark wing. Good grief. That's a dark wing. Oh, they cut this off me. I can understand how you people enjoy this stuff. Mmm. But I'm already too far. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. That is a lot of flavor. Whew. We're going back to the hotel after this, right? I'm sweating. I'm out of here. I'm sweating. 
but I'm good. Well, I think it's pretty obvious people know what we're up to with TNG on the road for this season, besides torturing myself. But we want to know what Box is up to, man. What is the rest of your 2024 going to be looking like? What can we expect out of you? I got 60 more days of Melee Detox. Okay. I got CEO, Warehouse War, S Factor in Mexico. I got, so of course, Supernova to close it out. Yep. Looking for a big dub there. And after that, I mean, why stop there, man? I'm gonna return back to Ultimate content probably. Yep. Maybe if I win Supernova, there's a chance that Detox goes the rest of the year. But mm. if I don't, yep. we'll see. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing you. You're gonna come back on. Yeah. I'm assuming, like, TNG, I, need, I need you here because I'm not going anywhere. I need you around too, my guy. I'll be around. Don't forget, NFL, crossing with Smash. It's a beautiful harmony there. Let's make it happen. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another edition of TNG on the Road from Miami, Florida. I'm going to go die. <laughs> Well, as always, it's always a pleasure kicking it and chatting with my boy HBox. Appreciate him making the time to hang out with us. It was a good summer for sure. But guys, I think it's time to bring out our NFL player, okay? He's part of that speedy Miami Dolphins team coming off a career season where he put on 21 touchdowns. This brother is an absolute beast. Raheem Moster, welcome to the show, my man. What's going on? How you doing? I am doing sensational. Appreciate you, obviously making the time to come on, man. How's everything going with you, bro? How's the recovery treating you right now? Yeah, everything's good, recovery. Um, I had a little chest injury, but I'm, I'm gonna be back and, and full, full fledged, ready to go. All right, love to hear that, man. How about your summer, bro? I know uh, we got to catch up a little bit, but you know, besides that, what were you, what were you up to? Man, uh, traveling, uh, nice. went to the Bahamas a couple times here and there, um, you know, just going to Georgia and, and Connecticut. So I, I was all over the place helping out with teammates camps and stuff like that. Uh, the last time we talked and hung out, um, the following week I went to Hawaii. So that oh, was pretty cool. What? Yeah. You're going to Japan, he's going to Hawaii. I don't he, know. he literally touches grass, something that I don't do. I need to do more. I, <laughs> in every sense of the word. In every sense, of, he's just jet set it everywhere. And I'm just like, I think I left the house once, I think. Yeah. Like <laughs> like on a trip, like a, an actual vacation. So that's insane. I mean, I'm excited to go to Japan. I, I want to hear. You know, I want to go there someday, so. Oh my God, 100% recommend. Cool. <laughs> seems, Japan just seems absolutely awesome. I mean, I don't, you know, I know this is like your 10th season in the league, I believe, Raheem. So mm. I know obviously, you know, winning above everything else is like number one goal, but for yourself personally, do you have any other like personal goals and aspirations right now? Um, No, honestly, I think, you know, just hanging out, um, playing some video games, you know, some content out there and, and pushing myself uh, to be, you know, more content driven. And, um, you know, I'm also creating a, a gaming organization down in Miami. So um, that's it's been going good so far. Love that for you, bro. See, there. What can't he do? Exactly. <laughs> Athletes, they're just like you and me. They just want to make content and play games. I love that. Well, with yep. that in mind, let's go ahead and play our first game. I think we're going to be hopping into some Fortnite. Yes. So grab yes. the sticks and let's make it happen. Oh, my goodness. La NFL inicia el mes de la herencia latina con la presentación de su campaña de temporada por la cultura, destacando los jugadores, entrenadores y empleados latinos, compartiendo historias auténticas de su herencia y celebrando la excelencia latina. Con una gran y apasionada base de latinos, así como un gran número de jugadores, entrenadores y leyendas latinos, la NFL y sus equipos están comprometidos a celebrar las historias que elevan la cultura latina, inspiran y impulsan a los jóvenes hacia sus sueños y construyen un camino unificado hacia la grandeza a través del deporte. ¿Quieres saber más? Visita nfl.com barra oblicua PLC Airways para conocer sus historias. I'm from here. I'm from there. Esta tierra es tu tierra, mijo, eh? Soy de aquí. Soy de allá. Somos familia de la vida y más allá de la sangre. Ustedes pueden hacer grandes cosas. I'm from here. I'm from there. And football is everywhere. All right, well, it is time for our first game of the episode. We are jumping into some Fortnite. So I'll start with you, Nico. Now, you look really excited to have that controller yes. in your hand. So when is the last time you actually played Fortnite? Honestly, I played Fortnite like a week ago. Really? Yeah, I've been actually getting right back into it. And um, I don't know, I like the teddy bear like skins. Okay. So, so I have like the dark teddy bear, like the emo teddy bear. 
and that's my favorite. I mean, I play Fortnite pretty frequently, actually. I love this new season. I think it's really fun. You'd think it'd be somehow easier without any, like, no build, but I don't, that's not the case. Some people with the OP, like, Marvel stuff, they, uh, they, they kind of just swoop in on you. They just know. Wait, Raheem, are you here with us? Okay, I see. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent stuff. Like what I'm seeing off rip. Now, Raheem, you said that you like playing games. Obviously, you'd make content. What kind of content would you personally make? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I just like, honestly, just streaming a lot. Uh, try to get back into it. I have a uh, Twitch channel that I barely got on because of football and all that good stuff. But, you know, now I'm starting to make my way back into it, especially now that I'm trying to start my own, um, you know, uh, gaming organization. Oh, that's a W. I remember you telling me about that too, which I think is amazing. It's like really good for the kids and stuff like that as well. Now, Raheem, do you have any streamers that you actually enjoy watching yourself? Um, yeah, I got a couple guys. Um, there's a guy by the name of Reader. Um, he's pretty cool. Uh, I like watching his stream. Okay. Um, of course, you you watch Swag and all them as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> very uh, funny. Phase. Yep. Um, Strixie, uh, I like watching too. Okay, Strix tight. Couple guys. Now, as a streamer yourself, Nico, do you have any favorites or? Oh my God. Okay, I've, I don't I've, know how a streamer culture works sometimes. Like, no. Everybody in opera is like. I feel like we like if I do watch streams, it's League of Legends streamers like Challenger, like Ooh, they're it's, they're, they're kind of toxic, but it, it, it it's just you know if you play League of Legends, you're automatically versus just toxic. That's very true. So <laughs> I got a roommate. It's nothing pretty. <laughs> A lot of screaming, a lot of anger, a lot nope. of breaking keyboards. Not, not gonna lie, I want to go over here towards this action. I noticed yeah, that. She, oh, oh, I see some people. Oh. I see some people. She, where, where, where? Uh, Talk to me. They are 42 north. Nice, good call. Shots fired, shots fired. You got this, Nico. Oh, oh. Get closer. I swear my aim is a lot better than this. I believe. Listen, I believe. I swear. You're just. You're. Doing I'm a little nerf because of the content. Oh. No, oh wait. Wait a you. minute. Wait a minute. You got you one. You got yeah, you I one. got one. I got one. Okay, that's kind of crazy considering. Hold on. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Hey, I like that we're third party in teams. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I think third party is the best way to do it. They're not paying attention to you. Before, yep. I, by the time they notice you, it's already over. There's shots over here though. See, Raheem, if you weren't playing football, bro, I actually could see you being like a professional gamer because your call outs and your I mean, leadership. I like, I like, he has man, the leadership, I, you know. If I've dedicated a lot of time like I do football, I'd, I'd be pretty straight. I think that would be the case for anything you do. Did you, did you, if you weren't playing football, is there anything else you could see yourself doing as a career? Surf, surfing. Surfing? surfing. What? That was a, that's out of left field. Uh, what? Wow. I, I could have been a pro surfer uh, when I was. Oh, he's right here. Fuck, I'm pushing that with this shot. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, uh, oh, I found a there's a shot. Wait, I think he got it. Oh, no, 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 Wait, where is he? Right oh, there. oh, wait, he got it. Oh, nice. He's carrying me. Let's go. A, a little bit, okay. Nah, 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 you, you. <laughs> I was there for moral support. <laughs> moral you haven't support. taken any damage either. Boom. Wait, are you ready? You are you ready? Look, look. Champagne oh, no. party! Hey, okay. Champagne party! Pro There's surfing for Raheem. Yeah. You weren't doing streaming, Nico, or, or I guess in your real world would be Nicole. Yes. What would you be up Nicole, to? Nicole, my government name. The government, huh? Um, <laughs> she said my government name. <laughs> it, it is. Um, so if I wasn't a streamer, I would have loved to like finish school. And I still would like to do that. But I want I wanted to be like a news anchor. Oh, wow. I wanted to I always like being in front of the camera. Dude, so. it's so funny you say that because that's what I wanted to do when I was growing up. I wanted really? to be a news anchor, like a yeah. weather the Al Roker, you know? No, yeah. Like uh I I, pr I probably would have oh, liked shoot. to do more like um probably politics, honestly. Oh nice. But fight for the little guy? Yes. Oh, fight this guy. Fight him, fight him. Ah Oh wait, he sucks. He does. There you go. Nice. There you go. It's trash. But yeah, I would like to do like commentary on like the news or something of the sorts. Mm. This game is quite impressive right now, I must admit. Raheem, you sure you ain't played in like a year, bro? What can't, can't he do? I can't, I can't tell, bro. Oh. Oh wait, he's oh. fighting. He's fighting. Let's see. Oh. Okay, hold up. Oh, hold oh, up. oh, oh, we're getting shot at. Oh, they're over there. Oh, they I are. can't really see them. I ain't got no law. Oh my God. Careful, Nico. 
Oh, oh. Okay, you just air it out. You don't know. He's cracking. You got him, you got him. He's running away. Why are you running? Boom. Oh, who Boom. was that? I was that, that you? Yes, yeah, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. That was Raheem. I need, I need this. You're insane. You're insane. I need this, though. I would recommend. Oh no, oh no. right there, they're right there. Oh nice, nice. He's not oh, no. good. Good knock, good knock. Oh. I need right in front of you, right in front of you, right in front of you. Boom, 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 Light him up, light him up. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. You got him. He's one shot, he's one shot. Oh. Nice. Hold it down, hold it down. Tick, tick him. Oh. You guys got this. It's a W incoming. I can feel it right now. Let's go. And hey, there's people right here. It's 2v1, 2v1, push. You let's freaking go. Good job. What, what, I was actually not expecting that. Let's go. Yes. And then a virtual, a virtual high five. Virtual high five to Raheem. Good job, Raheem. That was mm -hmm. a virtuoso performance, guys. I didn't expect we were going to get a win. That's awesome. <laughs> Great job. There everybody. you go. Fantastic. All right. Well, you guys were incredibly locked in right there. Congratulations on the big W. So I didn't want to yes. ask, ask too many questions. Didn't want to interrupt the flow, but... That surfing comment you made, I can't just leave that floating out there, my man. I need you to elaborate on that a little bit more for me. You could have been a professional surfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, growing up in New Smyrna Beach, um, it's known as a surf town. Um, you know, it's on the coast uh, of Florida, uh, the east coast of Florida. And yeah, it was something that I really enjoyed. And, you know, I started skateboarding at first and got really good at, at skateboarding. and. Um, you know, I was doing street skating and did ramps and, and all that good stuff. But then I had a couple of buddies that also, uh, that surfed too. So, you know, I, I hit the surf, hit the waves with them and, and Bill Bong came one day, we had a surf competition, um, and they saw me surf and they offered me, um, to be a sponsor, um, you know, with them. So I ended up turning it down, obviously, because I wanted to pursue football. I've been playing football since I was like six. Um, and I felt like that was a, a better option for me. Um, and I still surf to this day and, you know, I go to Hawaii and all that good stuff. Wow. I mean, dang, dude. That, that's insane. Yeah, that's really impressive. I mean, I I barely am comfortable getting knee deep in water. Let yeah. Alone surfing in there. So you got... Billabong came to him. He didn't go to Billabong. Billabong came to him. 100%. Billabong came to me. <laughs> it was pretty cool. That's talent, bro. Now, I'm informed, too, that you have two Raheem Moster days named after you, okay? Like, you have was it December 20th and February 2nd? Like, mm -hmm. most people don't even get one. You get two, bro. Like, you really just put on for that city, man. What does that mean to you, bro? That's crazy. No, I mean, it means a lot. Um, and it just tells you um, the type of community that, you know, we have um, to recognize people that, you know, have, have come out and, and did positive things. Um, you know, the, the first day, um, the Fe February 2nd day, um, that was uh, in honor of, um, me going to the Super Bowl um, in 2019. Nice. Um, and so it was, we played at Hard Rock Stadium down in Miami um, against the Chiefs, which we lost. But, um, you know, they, they wanted to do something, you know, that day for me. And then the second day, uh, the December day, that was actually um, the day I um, gave back to the community. I did like a, uh, what do you call it, like a, a toy drive. Uh, down in South Florida and um, got a whole bunch of toys donated for families that were affected by the hurricane. I drove uh, a U-Haul all the way up to my hometown, which is about three hours north, uh, wow. and got to deliver um, toys to the kids and families that, that were in need. So that was also the reason why I got another day. So it was hey, pretty cool. Damn, Raheem, I would have gave you a day too. That's what's Yeah, <laughs> he, needs a, he needs a third day at this point. I'm saying, that's what's up. Yeah. Love that for you, bro. Well, Raheem, I mean, that's just incredible. I mean, again, two days named after you. Nico, when are you going to get just one day named after you? I feel like you deserve it. What's your hometown location story? Um, okay, so I was born in Los Angeles, but I was raised in the Central Valley. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to get a day dedicated to me anytime soon. Maybe one day, though. I'd really, if I, you know, when I get to that point. But, um, uh, but yeah, I grew up in, like, a very sleepy a very sleepy farmer's town, um, literally nothing to do. So I really got into video games even more because there's not much to do. 
And, um, and yeah, that's kind of like how I really started to pursue like my love for content creation is because I just, there was nothing really to do and like, yeah. video games have always been something like a trend in my life for, okay. since I was a kid. I love that. I mean, I love video games too since growing up. What was the first game that really like got you addicted? Like what just kind of stuck with you in your early gaming days? Oh, I don't know. Well, I, we were just talking about this earlier, but like Call of Duty Zombies was always like my favorite thing. The, my first, very first game that I got that I, you could play live mm -hmm. because I, I didn't know this was a thing at the time. Because, okay, so I grew up obviously, like, I grew up like not well off. So I was always consoles behind. So yeah, I, I was always like, I always had, I had the PlayStation 1 in, in like, 2004, but it came out in 1996. <laughs> so I was always really behind. Shout out to those flea markets. Huh? Yeah, those are flea yeah. markets, yes. Yeah. Um, so then uh, when I feel, realized there was like Xbox Live, I thought that was really cool. So I got into Call of Duty, my favorite, my favorite, my first, very first COD was Modern Warfare 3. Okay, nice. Um, people love Modern Warfare 2, but I just have that love for Modern Warfare 3 because it was my first live video game That's fair. that I could play with my friends. Um, and then after that, I got really addicted to um, Call of Duty Zombies. That was just, there's such nostalgia. It's just Notch, um, with Kino Dertoten. Yeah. Uh, all those zombie maps are just my nostalgic just favorites. <laughs> Everyone's like got their favorites. Like, well, when it comes to the lore though, have you ever explored that at all? The lore, oh, so I, I never explored the lore. My friends would always tell me like, if you go through this door, like, I don't know, there's um, there was a map where you went through a certain door and they showed you like a very bloody room about the Cold War and like mm. all the lore, like that yeah. stuff. And um, they would always do like the Easter eggs, but I, I would just follow them. Um, I don't have the attention span to like look deep into the Easter eggs. I'm just, I can watch like a playthrough on YouTube doing it for me. Yes, exactly. But I cannot execute it myself. Yeah. I'm one of those gamers. Yeah, it's too, it's too much like little details. I'm you. like, I wasn't paying attention to the bunny in the corner of this specific room. Like I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> I was trying to get this dub. <laughs> Nico, appreciate you sharing that with us. Wonderful story. Guys, before we get back on the road though, let's hear a quick word from our friends at Mads. Physics-based tackling, every hit hits different. Well, welcome back, guys. I gotta let you know something, though, before we continue. When you score 21 touchdowns, okay, you got to stay fresh. And I teased it a little earlier, but me and Raheem, we did link up this past summer, and we actually went sneaker shopping. It was a really good time, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Check it out. What's poppin' everybody, it's your boy Phil Visu, and this is another edition of TNG On The Road. This time, we had to hop on like a speed and bullet to catch up with our next guest. I'm talking about one of the fastest men alive on the fastest team in the NFL, playing for the Miami Dolphins, my man Raheem Moster. What's up, Phil? How you it, doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, bro. Thank you so much for joining uh, us, man. Hey, we I at the, the 305 Sneaker Shop, so we're we really gonna get live. We're gonna get your fit. Yeah. Uh, listen, you're already out the world right now. Yeah. You're already out of this yeah. world, but we're going to get you even more tight. You ready to head in? <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's do this thing. Let's do bro. it, brother. Yes, sir. After you. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, we have made it inside to 305 Kicks. My man Raheem, ready to get that shopping done. But what are you rocking? What is the fit today? So I got a Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. Okay, I just comps. keep it simple, it's comfortable. What's wrong with it's, that? It's a little loose. I got this from Target. Yeah, <laughs> so you know the feeling, right? Come on now. I'm wearing some uh, Levi jeans. I'm always rocking Levi jeans. Very I feel like those are very comfortable for me. And then I got the off-white shoes. I got these 
when I was actually in San Francisco uh, many years ago. So yep. I, I decided to wear these today because they complement the shirt, of course, and, and the rest of the outfit. So that's what I'm rocking today. You mentioned before we even went on camera, it's it's your son's birthday. So yes. happy birthday to your son. Thank that's you. awesome turning five. What out here is something that you would pick for him? Uh, let me see. For a five-year-old, you know, you don't necessarily want to go all out with that's the sneaker. That's true. They're going to get them dirty anyway. They're going to get them dirty quick. But actually, my son, he does a great job. He likes to pick out his outfits. Really? Um, yeah, he'll wake up in the morning. First thing he does is outfit pick. A shoe that I feel like he would love, honestly, uh, Jordan uh, 1, one of these here. I, I feel like this will be his shoe. He he has another shoe that's a, a 1. He he keeps them so pristine. Yeah. He likes, he's that type of kid. So I'll definitely have to rock with one of the 1s okay. for sure. I feel like that's something that's his style. What was your first like big ticket purchase with like when everything started to kind of roll and snowball and you was that guy, you becoming that guy, it's just like, you know what? I'm gonna just splurge for myself. What was it? Yeah, I actually purchased a vehicle. Um, I still have it to this day. It's a 2019 Mercedes E-Class E63S. Ooh, okay. I didn't have a car in college. I didn't have a car growing up. Mm -hmm. So um, it was easy for me to just pick that vehicle. And, and truthfully, that was my second purchase. But my best purchase so far is gonna be, I'm, I got a, a custom Chevy 66 uh, C10. 1966 C10 that's on in the works right now. It's for one of my coaches who had passed away in 2019. Um, he he bought this truck when he was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. He just let it let it rot on his lot, and I came up with the idea of getting it restored for him and his family. That's so, beautiful, man. Um, that's beautiful. actually the most exciting purchase that I've had. I love um, that. Thus far in my life. All right, Raheem. So we switched uh, sides of the store. Checking out more of the beautiful. 305 kicks, but I got some questions for you, man. Off season, right? I always gotta ask the players, what's the first thing you do when the season ends, man? What are you getting into? Vacation. Vacation, yeah, okay. It's been a long season. Yep. Um, you know, you put in the work. That's what I'm doing, vacation, but also you still gotta train and be fit and get your body back I was gonna back, say, right? you can't, yeah. not too many days off, right? Not too yeah. many days off, not at all. But that first, like after February, cause the Super Bowl's in February, yep. End of February, March, and parts of April, that's when you're, you know, relaxing, but still getting some work in. All right, Raheem, now I know you have been playing football since like the age of six. Like you, like the fact you've been playing for that long, but let's just take the NFL out for a second. Mm -hmm. If you weren't doing football, what other career path do you think you'd be on right now? I'm very curious. Yeah, I like entrepreneurship. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like that was definitely um, a, a thing. That's the reason why I went to Purdue. Yeah. Um, the, to own a business, create something that, you know, it was a, a huge niche in the, in the market. And also, I felt like gaming was also one of those things too. Just being an avid gamer, you know, I've been playing games for <laughs> pretty much as long as I've, I've played football. Yes, sir. Um, you know, it was a line of communication for me and my little brother. Um, we, we were always competing in pretty much everything that oh, we've done. Yeah. So um, I would definitely have to say gaming too is, okay. is up there and, and owning a business. All right, Raheem. Well, needless to say, I think you are walking away with quite the whole. How was your experience today at 305K? I mean, first and foremost, I want to give them a shout out. Um, I think they have an excellent um, stock of, of both shoes and clothes. Easy. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I came out, you know, pretty good. I'm thankful I came in here. I was able to, you know, chat it up with you. Loved it. And you guys hear my story, but also, you know, get to see what I like and I got some stuff for my family too, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah. Well, guys, needs to say, we are gonna go ahead and race to our next destination. Of course, we'll be taking like an airline. Thanks again a lot. Appreciate this you, was, Phil. This Thank was you awesome. guys, man. We'll see you on the next one. Throughout all of season two of NFL, TNG, and Family Game Night, we recognize individuals and families from the community who have a dedication to service in their local community. And guess what? We're running it back for season three. I am honored to highlight New Orleans community member Carlos Baltodano for his work as a pastor and leader at the Iglesia Monte de Asiona. Pastor Carlos, welcome to NFL TNG. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking me. God bless you. All right, well, I'm glad to hear it, my friend. I know a little bit of your story, but do you mind telling the folks at home a little bit more about the community you have been serving through Iglesia Monte de Sion? Well, we started the church in 1990. It's talking about 34 years ago. It's a Spanish church. And everything, when you start, you know, you get organized, and then you start making equipment the person that can help you to do the job. 
Um, and that's how you start growing up. And then we start looking around and see the need of the community where we are working. So we noticed that it was too much to do. Many of those, uh, the, the youth people in the Spanish community, they got problems because um, family problem. You know, the father abandoned the kid or the mama is, is start working to take care of the kid and live by herself. And you know, they, they don't have a skill. Maybe they didn't get a degree at the college. Um, they start doing what they can, you know, construction or doing a, all kind of domestic labor. And those kids, you know, they, they need help because they're affected emotionally. And also we try to teach them how to keep uh, a, a better life, a better living, you know, taking care of the cleaning in the house, the cleaning of themselves, you know, give orientation to them about get medical attention, uh, behave better at school, and um, how they uh, learn how to take better decisions because they are so confused, you know? And also they have problems because of the language. Uh, they have a, a culture very different where they come from and when they come here, you know, a different language, different food, different, uh, uh, they have to adapt and uh, they need help to be oriented. So we have been working a lot in that direction. Well, thank you so much for sharing. We actually have a little surprise for you today because we didn't bring you here just to talk about what you do for your community, okay? NFL TNG is proud to be a part of this year's NFL's Super Bowl ticket giveaway program. Throughout the season, NFL TNG will recognize individuals and families from the Louisiana community who may include flag football players and coaches, those who have served on our armed forces, cancer survivors, fans that have overcome adversity, and dedicated community leaders. Raheem, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Hi, Pastor Carlos. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Raheem Mostert of the Miami Dolphins. It's great to hear your story and to learn how dedicated you are to making a difference in your congregation and community. We are excited to announce that you've been recognized by the NFL and those around you. And on behalf of the NFL, we're giving you and your family tickets to Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. We can't wait for you to be our guests and enjoy the big game. Absolutely, that's amazing. I appreciate that. Uh, they are going to love it, you know, that's really great. Well, dang, once again, I find myself jealous. Pastor Carlos, how do you feel about that, bro? Well, I can tell you, God bless this country and God bless all your family and keep the sign on top of the of the games. You know, there's a, a beautiful thing and everybody knows who the sign are. And um, you're doing a great job too, you know. And uh, we'll be there. Thank you for the, the, for the invitation and for this opportunity. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Carlos, for joining us on the show. We're glad we could help make your day even that much better. And we can't wait for you to be our guest and enjoy Super Bowl 59. All right, guys, well, from being fresh in the sneaker shop to being fresh in some Fall Guys, I mean, check out my man's fit right there. He's already geared up for Halloween, looking crisp, but well, let's see if you can get your Fall Guys game right, okay? Because that's going to be the next game we play right now. Now, Nico, last season, if I recall, you made an epic 3-1 comeback on Hexagon that actually gave your team enough points to put you guys in the playoffs, okay? So unlike Fortnite, I'm expecting you to take the lead for this game. Ooh, I think I can. I actually think I'm gonna have a lot easier time with the console on Fall Guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and queue it on up. Press A, <clears throat> let's see where we're heading. Navigate the obstacles and race to the finish line. What can go wrong? A lot. Well, let us find out, here we go. It looks like you guys got the vanilla version, so no like, extra obstacles or anything cheeky. Why are they going so fast? Yeah. Hi, good it's a race, question. bro, what do you mean? <laughs> oh no. Like how are they speeding, right? Is that what you're saying? You're right, yeah. That's a great question. I don't know. I have Limited the same boost, question. Okay. That's a fair question for show. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Going. Okay, I gotta qualify. That's all I'm wanting to do right now. That's it, bro. Let's make it to the next round. Good, Nico. Nikki, how you doing? I think I'm doing ah! good. Ah! No. <laughs> Y'all are extra. I love it. Wait, are you out or are you still in? No, no, no. He's good. He's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to be out here soon. Oh. Let's find Raheem. Come on, Heen. You got to qualify, brother. 
Oh yeah, you got that. You right there, bro. Easy money. Boom. Wow. Ignore those guys. They're, they're griefing. They're griefing. There you go. Good job. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what that person was doing. Yeah, they're trying to grab. They were trying to grab you. They're trying to sabotage the lobby, bro. We don't even. We don't even acknowledge those people. Bro. They on some sabotage and stuff. Yeah, that great, bro. Is there like way to sabotage a team in football? <laughs> uh. Like, are you able to hug them and then just not let them move? The, what? Like in Fall Guys, like they did in Fall Guys, you hug them and they don't move. Well, I think they probably throw a flag for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. This is just a race, by the way. You just gotta go around the laps for time. Is your twist just your name? Uh, most, most Dorati. Most Dorati. There we go. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll look that up. Didn't there used to be a lull at the end of the game? No, oh, so on all social media it's lull, but on 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 Twitch it's Nico. Oh, you got like the Nico. OG name. Oh wow, that's impressive. How long have you been streaming? Uh, since 28. Well, like a, like actually like a, like an, as, as as like a dedicated hobby since 2018. Okay. It's been a minute. Oh, I've definitely done this map before. Yeah, right. This one's a little bit more OG. More like the third oh. season. This time. Okay. Right out. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, no! The spot, let the exact, let the circle take you there. Oh, okay, Boom. okay. There we go. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Don't need to fight it. Sometimes if you just like, just take a breath and like just let it just go, mm -hmm. you just end up just getting more ahead. I feel That's like. True. I can't get up on this. Oh no, Raheem, what's going on? I can't see. You. Be careful of these of those. They'll send you backwards. Just avoid it all costs. That too. Oh, we got it. There you go. Nice. Oh. No one's qualified yet. You guys are good. One, one try hard did for sure. Oh. Am, hello? Am I? Oh, please. <laughs> go through the middle. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, okay. There, there you go. go. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that was traumatizing. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little... For me too. Hello? Am I stuck in here? <laughs> I'm, I'm at a dead end. I need to get out. Okay. Remember, you can... You can wait, wait. Do okay, you hold. qualify? Lap 202. Okay, jump hold. up. One jump. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Now she's cooking. Okay, hold on. Ah! Better late than never. That was embarrassing. It might be a clip. It might be. That, uh, that was a it little embarrassing. I don't even know if I can come into a game after that. <laughs> oh. Okay, level uh, up. Raheem, did you qualify? Did you qualify? Oh, I definitely qualified. Yay! Oh. Okay, awesome. At least one of us. You can't put up 21 touchdowns in a season and not dominate in a uh, race-based game. What can he sense. do? It is. Tag on his back. Hashtag it. All right, I'm gonna have to grab some people. Yeah, yeah, you gotta sabotage. This might, this might be a yeah. fight because they're gonna they're gonna come after you too. I'm gonna push somebody. I gotta push some people off. Oh, there's some obstacles along the way. Oh, this one looks a little complicated. I right, gotta watch out for the obstacles. I was not definitely not gonna make this one. Hey. Oh no no no! I definitely wasn't. Oh, it, it just spun you around. You just <laughs> you like like, a... actually, I'm over here trying to push people. Good composure, Raheem. Only three more people gotta get eliminated. Don't be one of the three. All you have to do is not get bumped off. That's it. A lot of good hand-eye coordination on your part, when you're impressed. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's, yes, he's yes. smooth with it. He's smooth with it. Yeah. And there he is. Nice. Crown guaranteed. Love it. <laughs> Final round, crown round, circle of slime. Run away from the slime chasing you. Watch out. Some of the platforms will break. Keep away okay, from so the just just stay alive, yep. basically. That's it. And watch out; some right. of the platforms might break on you, so don't somebody, stay on there right. too long. So many new maps. I haven't done this one either. It's been a while. It's yeah. Never. I have never done that one. Three of the four have been. Made. Okay, so so what, where's the slime at? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, follow everybody else. Is it spinning by itself, or is that Raheem? Oh, that, that, me that was me. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was me. Whoa. I was holding it the wrong way. I'm having way too many derp. I maxed out my derpy moments You're this, good. This, to, this morning. Just a bit of trolling. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Go, Raheem, go! Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. 
A Jaws moment. Shark just chasing. Oh, I really thought I was gonna get him. No way. Wait. Oh, I think the platform. Oh, oh he it was won. who got there first. Okay, he got there first. Oh, oh that's okay. why you lost. Yeah. I think you guys did fantastic. We did okay. You know, what yeah, matters yeah, is that we tried. Yeah, exactly. You had the warm up and then you made it to the crown finale. Raheem showed he can get the job done. Mm -hmm. Imagine if this guy played these games with practice. That's all I'm saying. He would have been, mm -hmm. he, That's all I'm saying. he definitely followed guys world champion material right there. Mm -hmm. Excellent <laughs> gaming segments for sure. Really enjoyed that. Needless to say, sensational run between Fortnite and Fall Guys. You guys absolutely killed it. And I loved watching both of you play. Uh, before we get out of here though, Nico, I know we actually got an opportunity to sit down with you earlier and hear from you on a couple of different subjects. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. A game that hasn't been remastered but definitely needs to be. It's a hard tie between two of them for me. One, it's Yoshi Island Adventure and another is Super Mario Galaxy, which I really feel like they should bring back some way somehow on the Switch. I wish I could remaster them myself, honestly, but I need them. <laughs> This might be a really hard take, but I think a lot of the Black Ops COD remasters, they cannot capture the same nostalgia. You just can't remaster something sometimes. And I feel like we need to bring back bringing original content, like making original games, original movies, or original everything, but including games. If I was given a really large budget, for a streamer video. I'd probably do something having to do with either animals or some kind of charity. With that amount of budget, you just wanna, wanna do some good in the world. Um, it's, I think it's really important to represent my culture and my background. One, in my everyday life, because personally, I don't ever wanna lose touch with my culture. It's really easy to do that, especially because 98% of the time I speak English. You know, with my parents, I only speak Spanish with them. As for representation in the community, I think being a role model for other aspiring Mexican-American or just like people like me, like first generation, being that role model, seeing that if I could do it, you could also do it. And uh, hopefully that also motivates other content creators just like me in the same position that I am to reach for their dreams, especially like if it's in content creation. I'm not the biggest fan of the word fan. I, I, I like to, I call my the people that like what I do, just my viewers, my supporters. But I think my biggest supporter interaction would have to be, I did this kind of a panel at Twitch in regards to being a Latina content creator. And uh, I did this panel and I shared my story and the stuff I went through. And after the panel, I had so many young like Latinas that are also, also in the streaming space come up to me. And some of them are also like teary-eyed, which made me like feel like, whoa, like I actually reached people. Like I actually like impacted someone. I don't even know how to explain it. That was just very like eye-opening and like it really made me feel really nice that I was able to, I was able to connect with other Latinas in, in the space. Step onto the Roblox Gridiron in NFL Universe Football. Team up with your friends, earn NFL items, and show off your skills by increasing your OVR. Jump into the action and play now on Roblox. Well, that'll do it from us here at NFL TNG. It was an amazing night. Nico, Raheem, thank you guys so much for being a part of it. I think you guys had a good time. Is that safe to say? Yes, absolutely. This was really fun and um, a little eye-opening on how bad I've gone at Fall Guys. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Raheem? Good time? Great time, you know, just hanging out with you guys, uh, getting to know uh, Nico and, and all that she's, she's done and, and in the gaming space and content creating. This is awesome. No doubt about it, man. But once again, a big shout out to you and thank you, Nico, Raheem, our friends at the NFL. And of course, you guys watching, the viewers couldn't do it without you. If you want some more action, you can check us out on TikTok and Instagram at NFL TNG. But of course, we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Take care.